Hi, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Welcome back to my channel, This Victorious Gaming. Finally, today we just got Hawk, the Immortal Hawk, to tier 3. Since some of you have been asking me whether the Immortal Hawk can shine in some of the PvE content even without a CDP or not, so today we are gonna test him out in World Boss Ultimate against Thanos and Giant Boss Raid against Master Mode with just a regular damage pro obelisk, no CTP. But before we get into it, let's take a really quick look at my build. Well, we have max crit damage and max skill cooldown, while the ignore defense is almost maxed out. As you may or you may not know that Hawk with his immortal Hawk uniform, he is a super villain. Yeah, he is a super villain instead of a superhero, as you can see somewhere around here. And his damage is based on a percentage of your HP, rather than a percentage of your physical attack. So there's a very interesting change on Hawk. So if you take a look at his skill, it says physical damage 96% of HP. So this is very interesting. Kind of like Hawk has his uniqueness. Hawk is the second character in the game has this kind of skill ability. And the first one was victorious. So yeah, but it doesn't mean that you have to build Hawk for PvP by giving him a regen or double max HP plus invincibility obelisk or something like that in order for him to be good in PvE game mode. That is not what it means. Those things like a damage pro obelisk still works for him, which, which we are gonna see that in a minute. But if you take a look at my skill set, it is pretty much maxed out. And I will talk about his skill rotation in the later gameplay as well. And then all his gear are at 25, and then how about his Urus? Well, I equip at least two max HP Urus on each of the gear, with some of the skill cooldown, because I'm lacking of skill cooldown, and with one Odin's Blessing, which is a double max HP, you must be wondering why I didn't equip some of the physical attacks Urus. The reason is very simple. As I said, the Immortal Hawk skill are based on the percentage of your HP rather than the percentage of your physical attack. So a physical attack Uru just can't help you at all. And then we got stage 6 power Angry Hawk ISO set and then I'm rocking with just a normal obelisk. 180% damage proc with max HP. So let's see what Hawk can do with this obelisk in PvE game mode. And then his uniform is at heroic level with some max HP as well. And then we are using Victorious and Shuri as a team up with Hawk. Uh, Shuri mainly for a tier 2 passive skill, which is the increased damage dealt to super villain type character by 45% and the damage reduction as well. And Victorious because of her leadership which is the 35% increase of all attacks to all allies and because of her passive as well which is a 30% increase of HP to all allies which is very juicy because Hawk damage is mainly based on the percentage of his HP so Victorious in the team would be very beneficial to Hawk other than that physical attack leadership is not useful for Hawk but somehow all attacks is still applying to Hawk and that's why I put Victorious as a leader but without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so this is a rematch between Hawk and Thanos after Infinity War. So let's see how he does here. Okay, cancel 3, cancel 5, then proc on 4. Okay, the damage is not bad. Uh, cancel 3 immediately, but only cancel 5 when you see the chopper starting to drop from the sky. Then cancel it immediately, then turn to proc into your fourth skill. Okay, 3, 5, then proc on tier 3 skill. So let's see what happens here. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, almost a bar and a half. That's not too bad. Consider he's just rocking with a regular obelisk instead of a CTP and we are doing it without strikers as well so that's not too bad I believe we don't have to switch out Hawk here uh, because he's very tanky he has that kind of healing effect on his passive skill 45% recovery of max HP when his HP is below 20% very similar to Deadpool okay so let's do it Okay, okay, almost 2 bars with his tier 3 skill, that's not bad. Okay, so we miss a proc here. Here is the thing with Hawk, when you are using a damage proc obelisk, 
he can definitely do it but don't expect too much from him I mean like don't expect the same thing as you as what you expect from Nemo and the other thing is you will find it very hard to prop on either his 4 skill or his tier 3 skill because his third skill is a bit hard to cancel uh, when you go with 354 sometimes the prop will activate early on his fifth skill which will mess out your entire skill rotation uh, but it is still possible to use Hawk with a regular damage pro obelisk but you need to do a lot of practice with his skill rotation and then get used to it and then of course a CTP of Rage is the best CTP for Hawk in PvE game mode so that you don't have to worry of missing the damage pro on the skill that has the most damage output which is his 4 skill and his tier 3 skill Okay, let's do it. Okay, nothing. Okay, so here I make a mistake uh, because now is the time that Thanos recruits both Color of City and Ebony Mall uh, to the fight. And then that tier 3 skill is just considered wasted. But here is a good thing with Hawk, his tier 3 skill can be charged up very fast. And then the skill rotation is pretty straightforward. You just need to go with Cancer 3, Cancer 5, then Proc on 4 for 2 rounds. And then third round, you just go with cancer 3, cancer 5 and prop on his tier 3 skill. So that is pretty straightforward. Okay, another tier 3, let's see what happens here. Okay, that is not bad, like almost a bar. Okay, so this is damn annoying. Another annoying transition. Thanos, can you stop doing this kind of stuff? It's damn annoying. Okay, okay, didn't expect that. He survived from that kind of purple effect from Thanos. That's fantastic. And I got frozen here again. Wow, that was... I thought I couldn't survive from that, but I was really lucky. Let's do it, and we are done, okay. That is not too bad, let's try him out in Giant Boss Ray to see what happens. Alright guys, so let's do it. And we are having a very strong teammate here, Thanos and Proxima with no uniform. And the other is having the Immortal Hawk with no tier 3. So let's see if my Hawk can take down Master Mo on his own or not with just a regular damage prop obelisk. It took us quite some time to actually take down Thanos in World Boss Ultimate uh, because there was a lot of phase transition there, which is damn annoying, but he cleared it anyway. Stage 20 Thanos with 1 minute and more left. That's not too bad for a character that doesn't have a CTP of rage. Or any CTP. I might actually try him out in some of the PvP game mode in my next video to see if it is possible to make him as a two-way player in both PvE and PvP game mode or not. But we will see how it goes. Okay, we are doing like 80% above 80% of damage within one minute. That is not too bad. And then this Hawk is doing like 13.7% of damage. That is not too bad as well. I mean for a tier 2 character. Three, five, and then tier 3 skill. Okay, so let's see what is happening here. Guys! <laughs> Guys, look at this, look at this, Hawk is melting the boss completely. If you haven't purchased this uniform, please go ahead to grab this, this is just fantastic. We are doing like 87% of damage within 2 minutes, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's try one more time. 
Come on, come on, come on. That's not too bad, man. We are already in the last five bars. So we are done here. That's an easy win. What is your secret of being so successful, Mr. Hawk? My secret is I'm always angry and I am always smashing. That's, that's not what I, I meant. I'm not, I get it. I, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> but anyway, Mr. Hawk, please take good care of the floor. But guys, we are doing like 87.1% of damage with 2 minutes and 24 seconds. That's just fantastic. Guys, if you ask me whether the Immortal Hawk uniform is worthy of the cost or not, I would say a bit yes. It's definitely the best uniform for Hawk at the moment, and as we can see, he can clear stage 20 Thanos in World Boss Ultimate, and he could solo Master Mode quite fast as well, with just a regular damage pro Obelisk. So can you imagine how strong he is if you give him a CDP of Rage? And as what we can see, a damage pro Obelisk is very decent for Hawk. But of course, you need to roll this max HP or double max HP with a damage proc obelisk. But it is very hard to play, obviously. But we still make it at the end. So I would say this is definitely a must buy uniform for Hawk. Alright, guys, please do let me know what do you think of the performance of tier 3 Hawk with just a regular damage proc obelisk. And please do let me know what are the other videos that you want to see from me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you will be notified when I upload those goods out of my future fight. And thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.